Um, in the science department, we've designed our courses to cultivate intellectual independence through inquiry, direct experience, and collaboration to prepare responsible citizens to innovate in an increasingly complex world. So first I wanted to tell you about the different levels for your different opportunities for learning. Our goal is to find the right fit. So our core classes all strive for relevancy, then they, they focus on the core ideas in science, and they also focus on a mastery of skills and concepts. Now, while that continues in the honors and AP classes, I wanted to highlight some differences as you um, can have some choices as you hit 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Um, the honors classes, which are honors chem and honors bio, um, really cultivate an independent learning mindset. Um, they they focus on a little more on data and analysis, and there's a greater expectation of skills mastery. So basically, you know, you go deeper, maybe you go faster, and the expectations are greater. Um, finally, the AP classes, which there are options to take an AP as early as um, sophomore year, although we highly recommend waiting till junior or senior year. Um, these really expect independent learning. The AP classes truly are um, a college level course. Um, they move faster and they, have a, they expect a deeper understanding of those core concepts. Um, sometimes they are truly a level two class. They focus on the synthesis of many ideas and applications, and they, they, they expect you to go a little beyond the textbook. And then um, in a different note, um, I want you to take a peek at the electives we have. They really are a nice deep dive into specific areas for students to explore. So now here's our, our collection of classes. Um, highlighted across the top are the three main courses that are um, our expectations for a Crundelet graduate. So ninth grade is conceptual physics, the 10th grade is generally a chemistry, and 11th grade is generally a choice in biology. Um, from conceptual physics, which there is no honors, um, based on your grade and teacher recommendation, you might have the opportunity to pursue chem honors. Um, again, I told you what that difference would be. A very few students will be selected for um, by invitation um, to take a summer bridge class to prepare them for AP Chem. Now, um, to be chosen for that or to, to be asked to consider that with the consultation of your teacher, you'd also be excelling in math and perhaps um, finishing geometry already. So you can deal with the, those choices when it comes time um, to talk to your teacher about that. Um, if you um, choose chemistry, the next selection your uh, junior year would be biology. Again, we like to leave open some options to get into the honors track if it's um, an appropriate place for you for bio honors. And that, again, would be dependent on your grade in chemistry and the recommendation of your teacher. Um, if you've taken chem honors, there is a possibility to move to AP Chem. Similar to that move to AP, I'm sorry, AP Bio, similar to that move to AP Chem over here, you'd be doing it by invitation from your teacher and you'd have to take a summer bridge class. Um, the AP Bio class really does expect you to have a basic understanding of biology. There are a lot of students after chem honors realizing that they enjoyed chemistry so much that they know they want to take AP chemistry to take it in their junior year because the ideas will be fresh. We encourage that. Um, and then again, you just have to remember you have to take a bio before you graduate. There are some students and you have to just request it and apply for it to take biology honors at the same time as AP chemistry during your junior year. We've created the bio honors class in a way that the workload is not overwhelming so that you could do it at the same time as AP chemistry because we feel really strongly that that bio honors class is a great prep for AP bio. Many of our students then would go on to take AP bio in their senior year if that track is appropriate for you. Um, after you take the core classes, there are many choices for electives. I'd like to point out that engineering for the common good and robotics and engineering could be taken as early as 10th grade. Um, the choices in this column are all semester choices, biotech, forensics, and ornithology, while this far column are all full year classes, marine biology, anatomy, and physiology. We have a variety of the APs that you can, can cho choose to take if you haven't taken them yet. And then um, AP Physics C, I just want to point out, is the course that's on the De La Salle campus. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy all of the wonderful science classes we have to offer for you.